hello, Carol here. I was going to show you how to use the template function on your Cricut today. Um, I didn't discover this for actually a couple of years, and I'm kind of embarrassed to say. Um, and I have found it to be very useful for sizing anything that I want to make uh, with my Cricut machine. So um, on my screen here, I have a little sign that I designed to go ahead and put in my laundry room. And I thought I'd go ahead and put it on the front of my dryer, but I just don't know what size I should make it. Um, I can go, I could start being lazy. I could go get my tape measure and I can measure the door and try to figure out what size, but I don't have to do that because Cricut has templates for a lot of objects. So when you go ahead and click on the templates in your kind of upper left corner, you have a whole lot of different shapes and objects that you can choose from to use as a template for your design. And you do have a, you do have a search feature that divides them into certain categories, or you can do a search. There, there, I there's not a whole lot of them, so I'm quite happy to just kind of write, browse through and see what they have. And as you can see, there's my dryer. But as you scroll through, there's also a lot of other interesting items that you can use as a template. So I'm going to select the dryer. And you get a little note that says templates are for reference only and will not be saved to your project. So just realize that this is not anything you're going to cut, draw, or anything. This is only here as a reference for you to decide what size you want to make your project. And you've probably noticed that your screen has significantly changed. And if you mouse over in your lower left corner, you can see it's been reduced down to about a 25% size. So here's my little laundry room size sign, which you can see just doesn't really look big enough. Now, on a lot of the templates, you do have an option for various sizes. And if you go up to your top bar, you can see I can do a type, which is a square or a round. Well, I don't have a dryer with the round door, so I'm going to go back to the square. And also on this one, you have standard or custom size. Well, I'm going to go ahead and leave it on the standard size. So <clears throat> I think I want then you can adjust your sign. And I thought, well, I think that looks good enough for it. But wait, I'm not sure. Maybe I want to go back and change my dryer. I do want to go ahead and custom size it. So I'm clicking around up here and I don't see that little um, size um, feature. Go ahead and click on dryer on your lower right corner and you're going to go ahead and have your options. Now, if you also want to, because maybe it's difficult to see, you can click on this color and I can say, well, you know, I have a pink dryer. I don't, but just if I have a pink dryer, you can select a color. It makes your template pop out a little bit easier. And sometimes when you're dealing with a bigger template, it's helpful. So I think at this point, you know, I think I'm satisfied with the size of that. I'm going to cut it out on some vinyl and put it on my dryer. So now I'm done. I really don't need this dryer anymore. Go to your lower right corner and click on that eyeball and your dryer is gone. Now your um, canvas is still pretty small, so you can do your scroll over to the size and you can increase um, the size of your canvas. So just checking right now, this is 16.9 inches by 10.7 inches, so I can cut that out on my Cricut. It's not too big. I'll use my 24 inch mat, but this has really helped me size my object. So I hope um, if you are ready to make something that you'll use the templates, um, especially in clothing. It's really nice because you can have selections of like t-shirts for men or women and small up to extra large sizes that you can use to put your uh, t-shirt iron on or whatever you want to make. So have fun designing and don't forget those templates. Thanks.